Big improvement! 360 Link now gives you the possibility to create and share 360 tours from anywhere with everyone. Do you want to know how it works? Come with me! My 360 camera is on, so let's start selecting a project and enter the uh, room where I'm currently in. I tap on photos and notes from the info section on the plus camera and here at the bottom we have the option 360, we select it. If it's the first time that you connect a camera, you need to connect it and here it's a Ricoh 360. I'm going to insert the code. Okay, and we connect it. Join. Okay, we can start using Theta X. Now, if you don't want to be in your image, no problem. You simply leave the room and from here, for example, we tap on the white dot. Okay, the photo has been taken. Let's go back. Now, we can tap on next and here we are. If we tap on edit, we can add more details to our photo like annotations, we can redact the photo if we have sensitive data that we would like to hide and do everything that we want. Once we're happy, we tap on done, save all. And the photo is there. Okay, let's go back to the photo section here. If we tap on see all, we will find our 360 image. By tapping on the three little dots of the image, we will have some settings right there. But now let's export our 360 tour. So we tap on the export toggle. If you have this view, no panic. You simply need to unlink your camera. So you go to your Wi-Fi settings and you connect to the regular Wi-Fi. Let's tap on the toggle again. Here we go. We select 360 tour. Here we can change the uh, title. We can add a uh, description. And you can also decide if you want to show the photo info like date and time who created the photo and show the captions or if you want to deactivate something now we publish our 360 tour ready and here we go so if you want you can close the info section and also the uh, left side menu by the way important note if you have more 360 tours they will all be listed here this is also another 360 image that I took before. So you see two for this reason. You can move around your room. You can zoom in if you have some important details that you want to take a look at or zoom out and you're very flexible. Okay, if we tap on the three dots at the, at the top, you will see the option to rename, share or delay this 360 tour. And you have the sharing toggle directly here. And if you want to share your 360 tour later, you will see it listed here under files. So give this feature a try. It's very useful if you want to add more details to your scope. It's amazing to improve the collaboration also with people that are not on site and you can be more precise in your documentation. You can explore your rooms interactively you can, of course, use it from everywhere and you can share this 360 tour from the app on your mobile device or also from the cloud, from your desktop computer. You are absolutely flexible. You can share it with anyone. Also, if someone is not using MagicPlan at all, which is a very big advantage. And last but not least, it is built into your workflow, so you don't need any other apps or systems. Everything is documented right away in your project. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know if you already tried this feature and I'll see you in our next tutorial. Bye.